like to call to order the uh, special council meeting Monday, July 7th, 2014 at 7.05 p.m. Mr. Law Director, you can call that roll, please. Do you want to let them leave? Oh, yeah. If they want to just offer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. Would you guys like to go ahead and uh, go out and get pictures? <laughs> Here. Sorrell. Here. Griffin. Here. Casey. Here. Waring. Here. Monte. Here. Me. Here. Peters. Yes. <laughs> okay, may I have a uh, motion to approve as presented the council meeting minutes of June 9th, 2014, June 23rd, 2014, June 27th, 2014, executive session June 23rd, 2014. And the financial statement May 31st, 2014. Motion to approve as presented. Second. Serena. Yes. Griffin. Abstain. Keesley. Yes. Waring. Yes. Fonte. Abstain. Peters. Yes. Fultz. We got four. <coughs> the yep. only reason I'm abstaining, I was at the June 23rd. But we have four. Yeah, we have four. Abstain. Uh, reports, council. Start with uh, Mr. Fonte. Uh, nothing to report today. Remember where? Um, just, I had not been to the North Cape Parade. We're typically out of town for Fourth of July, and the run and the parade were just so much fun. And oh my gosh, to see the community come together and the police force and the fire and all the citizens was just so, so cool. So great event, and the YMC did a great job and. Well, Cindy made a lot of money off of that event, too, so good for that. <laughs> no, a couple of kudos, excuse me, along those lines. I think the, one of our couriers at the bank was in a Corvette that participated in the parade. He's not a North Canton name, and he said, I didn't realize there were so many kids in there. And that's what we thought. They had a great time, of course, it was, it was really a lot of fun. I have not been able to persuade him to allow me to ride the Corvette maybe yet thus far, but we will. Um, similar, we had a really nice event a couple weeks ago now with North Kansas City Schools where they laid out their, uh, and rolled out their vision for the future. They did a great job um, and it was a wonderful thing to do. And again, it's a great model for us to follow and, and I appreciate their efforts there in trying to get everybody on board. But it was the first class event and uh, one that I would commend to everybody. So that's all I have. Good. A uh, couple things. Yes, the, uh, the 4th of July. Um, first class event, the YMCA does the job, and we do whatever we can to, to help them with it. So uh, kudos to everyone who did that. That's a wonderful community event that brings in a lot of people, and we're, they're very envious a lot of times of us when they see our community in that manner. So uh, great job for everybody. Uh, I did attend a thing with Dan with the schools. I'll, I'll, I'll echo that same thing. Uh, the schools are working on um, uh, some things that will really boost en engineering, uh, things with the printers, the grants that they received. They brought in a, a lot of the community to see it, which is the right thing to do. To, to really bring people, you can't, you only talk about things so long, but once people see these things or what they're doing, um, they're really they're gonna be impressed with uh, what they're doing over there. And it's really gonna put our school uh, even at a higher level. Uh, I also met with the Walsh folks um, and the chamber to possibly develop a, an app for North Kent. Walsh wants us to go in with them, with the chamber, to uh, look at, possibly looking at an app. App's kind of the way to go now instead of websites. People can touch apps and move to it. So I'd like to bring those in when we first get back, the, the people that, are, that want to kind of work with us on that. Uh, cost is minimal, um, and we won't really have to take care of it. I've talked to Mike about it, but starting when we come back, I'd like to really everyone to take a look at that, maybe bring them in to show us what they want to do. It'd also be a good way to kind of uh, partner with Walsh, which is, you know, they, they kind of want this thing to in the, in the chamber. And then uh, lastly, uh, Jim and I have met with the IOG folks over there across the street on East Maple, and maybe Jim can give a more report on that. Um, some of the things that, of course, I want to see is our, our, 
our pillars, our, our wrought iron fence, which seems to be going our way. Um, the trees, uh, I just met with someone who is going to donate the trees, and I'll, I'll announce that later on. Uh, so that's a big cost that uh, they would not have picked up. Um, and uh, some of the things we want them to do now on the north side, we want them to um, kind of follow what we do on the south side. They're putting like six pillars and a wrought iron fence over there. We'd like them to do some up lighting. So there are a few things we would like them to do, and they have, uh, they're mulling over it, put it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, so it was a very good meeting, though, and I'm glad you invited me to it, and I, I think the press has helped us maybe get what we want from council. So that's it. No more reports. Okay. Remember, folks. If it hasn't been brought up, I think it's up here, but, but uh, thanks for its hard work on the post office or the administration. Council members, uh, continual discussion about it. <laughs> Finally got done. Um, so kudos to Eric working hard at it. It's, it's a thankless job, as you know. Um, sometimes we call on when we get uh, results from the problems we have throughout our city. And um, it's a lot of asking and not, not enough thanks sometimes. So I want to thank everybody that was involved with that, especially Eric, because I know I've been to your plenty on it as well as so many other people. And the same thing for the housing. Um, everyone knows here I'm for rental registration, which is printed differently in the paper when the media wasn't here. But I think we owe it to our, our residents and our community to have the strongest codes available for our housing, exterior and interior. And I'm going to be relentless in that pursuit, and I hope the council sees the, the wisdom of that in the very near future. So I want to thank Eric there, because when I do call Eric, you know, I consider him a friend being here so long, but it's also, he does get things done, it's just, unfortunately, the, the time process takes longer than anyone would want it to be. But I uh, wanted to thank you for that. Just say we're going to continue moving forward for our city, as far as the housing, as far as I'm concerned. And I'll bring that back this fall. Okay, thank you. Thanks. All right, and I'd also like to echo Doug's comments in regards to Eric. Eric was on vacation last week and <coughs> helped me on three different matters. And I didn't realize he was on vacation when I called him. He told me, I tried to get off the phone, and he wouldn't let me go. He wanted names, numbers, and, and who to call. and. Uh, no, Eric, we, we, I can't, I can't tell you how much we appreciate everything you do. I mean, it's, it's like an Indian trip. <laughs> yeah. And, and also uh, to comment on the on the parade, I, I was there along with my family and my and my four kids, and, and they had an absolute ball. I mean, that that it, it's it's second to none as far as in their world. I mean, that's a highlight of their summer. So we we had a really good time. Kudos to the YMCA and I. Maybe a letter of uh, accommodation to be sent to the and staff. So uh, that's it for me. Special um, Uh Just a little bit on the housing. We we had the nuisance officer. Obviously, he's out there looking at stuff. He's seeing some things in the law that he's not thinks that maybe we could uh, clarify. Uh, I'm collecting them. I'll have the law director review them, and then if we need to, we'll come to council and strengthen those things up so he can uh, enforce them. So, but we are trying to collect some of those things now that we're we're getting on it. As Councilman Sereta mentioned, we're full steam ahead on these Main Street project. Uh, I've tried to go through there, go through there lately. Uh, it's a little difficult at times. But it's progressive. We're getting a few snags, but we have an excellent contractor. Uh, we're working well with them. So a few things we need to change in the design and running into some issues underground. But other than that, that's moving along well, and hopefully it'll be done by September. No report? Okay. We'll see you on a uh, final call for new business. Just to mention, this is our last meeting until late August as far as schedule. It's the 14th. So it should be the second the last uh, yeah. Monday in August. It's the second Monday in August, correct? So it's the last. So it's the 18th. 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 Important is important situation, right? Right. Right. Then there's five in September. If you want to, or did we motion that? I know we did it a couple years ago when we said every Monday holiday we, we just cancel that meeting because that would be a quick, there's five Mondays. Yeah, we did that with the Guinness Did we? You just sure. John did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, that's what I thought. So we won't have one September first.
Okay.